Georgia Carter.
is called Scurify.
uh, is a signature model of mine. In fact, this one is, I have many sig different signature models. Dia punya beberapa signature model yang di bawah hari ini ada dua. And the only difference between my signature model and a regular Ibanez is the way it looks. I really like their stock guitars, but I decided to put F-holes on mine. Even though you paint them on, I think it sounds better. I like to get a lot of different sounds by just using the switch and the knob. If I need a clean sound, I just turn down my volume. Uh, 
And most people, when they play a seven string, they have the normal six string guitar with one lower. But of course, I have to do things my own way. So the way I tune it is I use four strings that are like a regular guitar. But then I have three strings that are in octaves. And the reason I do this is so I can play really scary arpeggios. I like to stretch out an arpeggio on one string. And then I can do that same shape on the other strings. Because they're tuned in octaves.
demonstrate. It rocks. Now after a song like that, I think I have to play some blues. I have to take myself back to all the times when I have suffered. And I have to make sure that my collar comes out over the strap. This is from my first solo album, a song called Street Lights.
Thank you so much. <laughs>
Well, after a heavy metal extravaganza like that, I have to do a pop song. So you can all sing along with this one if you like. It's a song by the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my favorite band, you know. scales, you know, I mean, a scale by itself, 
is very boring, you know, so you have to be able to bend the strings to make it interesting, you know. is sliding. And you don't need a you don't need a glass or a metal slide, you can just use your finger, you know. And I love taking a note and sliding into it. You know, instead of just playing I'll go gives it a lot of life. The, uh, and I'll give you one of my main secrets of guitar right now. Which is, whenever I do a solo in the studio or, or live, if I'm ending, I always finish by sliding and turning the volume down. And it looks really cool. For instance, this is a, a slide where I go down. <coughs> so my hand can always go there and turn it down whenever I need to. Uh, this next song I'm going to play has a lot of bending and sliding together, and uh, you may have heard it if you have one of my instructional videos. It's a song called Down to Mexico.